Family, it's a lot of people out here that think they didn't sold their life to the devil. My question is, how could you actually sell your soul to the devil when you never owned your life from the jump? Do y'all not remember Jeremiah's prayer in Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23, where he says, Lord, I know that the people's lives are not their own. It is not for them to direct their steps. He also mentions in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 that our lives are not our own. Check this out. Do you not know that the, your body is the temple of the Ruach HaKodesh, or Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have from Yah, and you are not your own? So you are not your own. What you mean you sold your life? You ain't sold nothing. You might have lended your life to the thief, the thief in John 10, verse 10, who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Yeshua HaMashiach says he has come that we may have life and have it to the full. Have it to the full, y'all. He's come for us to have abundant life in him. So I wanted to just share this, man. It's just like a thief at a school, man. He see you with some good shoes, anything good on you. He want to borrow, he sweet talks you into getting it. You let it go, man. You ain't pay for it. Your parents gave it to you. You get home. Hey, man, where them shoes that I got you last week? I ain't seen them in a while. You ain't been wearing them lately. I let my friend borrow them. <laughs> you ain't going to never see them shoes again. Well, you need to make sure he bring them shoes back to you tomorrow. We're going to have some problems. All right, cool. But them shoes don't ever come back up, man. And guess what? In return, them shoes ain't going to ever be bought for you again unless forgiveness takes place. And that's temporary, them shoes. But my point in this video is life. And your life, once it's gone, it's gone. You can't get a second life, a second opportunity when you didn't gave your life to the thief. So quit letting them borrow it. And we've all done it to some degree because we take advantage of Yah's grace. But see, grace was extended for you and me to bring us out of sin, not to keep us in it. So why do we go on willfully sinning? That's in Hebrews. Check this out. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of truth, there, is no longer, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. Y'all don't want to get to this place where there's no sacrifice. None at all. And I want y'all to know something. That whatever you lend to Satan, whatever he gives to you in return, you can't take it with you anyway. So you might as well not even lend your life for it, for your temporary gain. Because remember, this world is not our home. We temporary tenants. And our lease going to be up very, very soon. Because Yeshua HaMashiach went to prepare a place for us. A lot better than this. This place about to be cast out, cast down. But even for the believers, everything that we get in life material-wise, no matter what, he says, store, like, don't store up your treasures on earth where moss, etc. can eat at them and like where they can build rust. You know, I'm paraphrasing that scripture, but it's it's definitely in the word. But to store up our treasures in heaven. That's what he says in the word, y'all. And so, hey, I ain't saying you can't have a good life. What I am saying is quit letting the wrong people borrow your life. Take advantage of your life, man. Because the ultimate master of your fate, the real captain of your soul, the Lord of your life, all of us, even Satan himself, comes under the authority of Yeshua HaMashiach and Yah, his father. And so, you guys, I just want y'all to know that every knee is going to bow in the end. Scripture real quick for that too. Philippians 2, verse 10 through 11, that at the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Yeshua HaMashiach is Lord, to the glory of Yah, the Father, Abba. So check this out, man. Every knee will bow. That means for you who believe, and that means for you who do not believe. We will all meet again for those who chose not to believe. And it will be more people who chose to go the wide way. And I ain't trying to get into the Bible, thumper colleges type of stuff. I ain't trying to hit y'all with a million scriptures, but it's all in the word, man. We can have a full-blown conversation all just about the word, utilizing the word. This ain't coming from me. The wide gate. So many of those who choose it that lead it to destruction. Now I know about the narrow gate that lead it to life. And few shall find it. And the road to life is difficult. You got to be willing to lay down your life, your fleshly desires. Pick up your cross. Y'all know how we do it. And follow him. Because he's coming back soon to get you morning, night, or noon. Shabbat Shalom and Shahid wanted to share, accept the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection, and let him lord over you, man. I'm out of here.